Hi there, and welcome to Today I Learned About, the show where we hate the player and we hate the game. Meeting a girl can be difficult. You can draw from your friends and circle of acquaintances. Or you could go to the bar and get drunk enough to try to overcome your crippling social anxiety so you actually talk to people and meet new friends. Then realize the next morning most of the friends you made were homeless people that you had bought hot dogs for. Or you can go on a dating app and post a sweet picture of yourself with a fish and a truck and just wait for the ladies to roll into your inbox. My point is, whatever method you use to trick girls into talking to you, eventually you're going to start a relationship. And you're going to be faced with this question. What does this crazy bitch want? Truth is, nobody knows. Believe it or not, women are basically people too. So try to put yourself in their uncomfortable shoes. Start by asking yourself, what would I want done to me? Instead of constantly thinking of all the things you want to do to her. Example. Establish familiarity with a nice touch, opposed to touching her with familiarity. Compliment her on a choice that she made, like those are pretty earrings, opposed to saying, you have a great dumper and some lovely titty meat. Also, women aren't as impressed with boners as we think they are. But when they get an unsolicited dick pic, imagine it's like you got a picture of a wrinkly old man that you didn't know and he's aggressively staring at you with one eye. And cleavage is the opposite. It grabs your attention, but you are not allowed to acknowledge it. Even a little boop will get you in trouble. Don't get me wrong, women do want attention, but only the right kind of attention from the right guy at the right time. So approach cleavage like a sailor. Wait till you know you're in deep enough water before you start motorboating. Girls like guys with beards, as long as that beard is on a chiseled jawline. Girls like guys that are funny, as friends. Girls like nerdy guys, as long as he's the CEO of SpaceX. Girls like sweet guys, as long as he has broad shoulders and a huge dick. The thing I know for sure is women are complicated. I used to think if I just explained my feelings to a woman, that she would be so overcome by the beauty in my heart that she would just fall in love with me because I loved her. I found out this isn't how it works. Let me tell you a story. When I was in high school, I wrote my crush a poem. Yeah, it took me days to write. At night, I would lay awake visualizing how it would go when I finally would get a chance to give it to her. Here's how it went down. That morning, I went to the grocery store and I bought a carnation, the sexiest and cheapest of grocery store flowers. In my head, this was going to be the ultimate Rico Suave move, which was the term at the time. I took a deep breath. I walked up to her and said, <coughs> Excuse me, I have something for you. She saw the carnation and how nervous I was. Immediately, she was on to me. Her face went bright red. I awkwardly handed her the carnation and unfolded my poem and began reading it to her. I clearly remember the look of pure terror on her face. But at that point, it's too late. This was happening. Now at this point, I had envisioned that she'd be smiling and giggling and then throw her arms around me and give me a big hug and agree to be my girlfriend. She did not do any of that. Instead, I was looking at a red-faced girl one inch from actually dying of embarrassment. In a panic, I blurted out, uh, think about it, handed her the piece of paper and quickly walked away, never looking back. Think about, think about what? I don't know. I don't remember the exact contents of that poem, but I'll do my best to recreate the gist of this panty wedding sonnet. <clears throat> you make me feel something in my tummy. I wish you were an egg and I was the Easter bunny. I would carry you in a basket on a day that was sunny. I wouldn't walk, oh no, I would runny. Deep into the woods, alone to be with my honey. Please pity me because I am funny, and if this doesn't go well, I do have money. I'm here to tell you, girls do not want romance unless they like you first. You are not going to change their cold little hearts with a poem and some flowers. Nowadays, I use a technique called public Wi-Fi. I just broadcast that vibe out there that I'm available and if the ladies are interested, they can log in. This prevents me from putting myself out there and being humiliated. At the same time, it allows me to steal their banking information. So long and stay frosty.